Okay, we will be studying this copper complex and by studying it we will be answering a couple of questions. The first question is what is the coordination number of this complex? The second question is what is the geometry? And then what is the name of the complex? And what acted as the Lewis acid when the complex formed? So it's quite easy to determine the coordination number. You simply have to look how many donor atoms are there. How many atoms are linked to your central metal, which is in this case, copper. So we have two chloral ligands. Both are monodentate and both are bonded to our copper. So our coordination number is 2. Now the next question is what is the geometry? Now when it comes to complexes, our geometry is based on the coordination number. We do not use the valential electron repulsion, the VSEPR theory for complexes. We do use it for other molecules but not for complexes. For complexes we simply use the coordination number to get to the geometry. So this table gives you an overview. So if you've got a coordination number of 2 it's linear. If it's 4 it can be square planar or tetrahedral and 6 it's octahedral. So now you can see with our coordination number of 2 for this copper complex, the shape is linear. So the, the next question is then, what is the name of this complex? The first thing to do is to find out what's the oxidation number of the copper, because copper can have various oxidation numbers and therefore we need to put the oxidation number as part of the name. So copper is an unknown, so it's X. We've got two chloral ions or chloral ligands which is minus one each so it's two times minus one and the whole complex is charged it has a charge of minus one so therefore it, it is equal to minus one so solving for x you can see that the oxidation state for copper is plus one so let's give the name for this complex so it's dichloro coprate one Iron. We call it coprate because the complex is a an iron. In complexes, all the ligands act as Lewis bases, and the center transition state metal acts as a Lewis acid. So the Lewis acid is therefore the copper.